welcome to the Rock the Stage Show. Each week, international media expert Rich Bontrigger has in-depth and personal conversations with celebrities, top leaders, authors, speakers, and media professionals. Now, from the Rock the Stage studios, here's your host, the Trigger, Rich Bontrigger. Welcome back to another Sunday night Rock the Stage show streaming once again on PPN and, of course, on YouTube. We thank you for being a part of the crowd, subscribing and following along. And, of course, we have our Sunday night premiere nights every Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We bring you a brand new episode. Tonight, as we get rolling, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever felt like you're being played, manipulated by a person or by a company, perhaps? Fraud and scams seem to be everywhere right now. In fact, my own family, I've had several family members that have had scams perpetrated on them. Thankfully, my family's pretty smart. They've been able to figure it out and said, no, 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 no. But that does not always happen. And it seems like more and more scams and identity theft are all happening. Tonight, we're going to have a great show. We are going to get into this tonight because we're going to have a great conversation talking about the lies, the scams, the truth, and how do you learn to figure that out? In fact, we're going to have a human lie detector with us here tonight. True. She can figure it out. She's going to help you do it too for maybe your business, maybe your family, whatever you're involved with. We're going to get deep into can you spot the fraud? Tonight, Tracy Brown is going to be my best. She's the third, the number three body language expert in the world and a leader in the training to build for people to build the bottom line by detracting, detecting fraud. She's a frequent guest on TV. She's uh, interpreting body language of criminals and politicians. Sometimes they're the same thing. Uh, she even helps lawyers pick and persuade a jury on body language skills. And tonight, we're in for a lot of fun. She's going to share with us the secrets of exactly how to, well, whose pants are on fire? Who's liar, liar, liar? Get ready tonight to get into it hot and really heavy with Tracy Brown. Here's Tracy right there. Hey there. <laughs> Tracy, thanks for being with us here tonight. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. So have you been called a human lie detector before? Has, has anyone labeled you that or have you avoided that? Uh, I have not. I, I believe someone has that trademarked. So um, no, but but I, I did trademark liar, liar, pants on fire. So that's all mine. So don't say that. I'm going to charge you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You've had an interest in history. Now, before we get deep into this, it's just so people understand who you are, your expertise, you got to deal with Kevin Harrington from mm -hmm. the Shark Tank. What was that all about? That was back when I was still focused more on persuasion and influence. And um, having that deal fail led me to what I'm doing now. So, um, the, you know, they always say the Shark Tank. Well, uh, <laughs> it, it was a Work, working with Kevin was like having an MBA dumped on my head in about six weeks. Wow. And it, it, I learned so much and um, it led me to what I'm doing now. So I'm, I'm super thrilled that that, uh, that that all came together the way it did. Well, coming up tonight, we do have a couple big announcements for Tracy. So stick around. You're going to want to hear what she's got going on. But I, I, I also find this interesting. You're a former member of the U.S. National Cycling Team. Mm -hmm. And what does that have to do with fraud? <laughs> well, I'll tell you exactly what I had to do with fraud. I had a teammate. Everybody knows his name was Lance. And he was really fast. And it, it was my, it, he, he was one of those guys that you just have this feeling that, that something's up. Like he's up to no good, but you don't know what it is. And we all have people like that in our life. And so I, I was introduced to fraud at a very young age. And um, I have not been able to shake that guy. He shows up in my life every so often. And it's like, <laughs> go, go away. <laughs> you just go away. Get out of here. But, but isn't how it goes? You, you kind of sniff it out. You kind of feel it in the air. Mm -hmm. And women's intuition, people talk well. People say you have a good BS meter. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's natural? Do we all have that inside of us at some level, but we don't follow it? We do. We do. Now, here's the thing. Lie detection and uh, being able to tell who's truthful or not, 
that that is ingrained in us what i do it, it, and that has been key to our survival for millions of years like can you trust someone or not bottom line thing it's it's a it's a survival skill what i do is take that because we have so many distractions we have we have this thinking brain that's real logical right and <laughs> and you know and now we're on our phones so much that we've what i do is take what what we have deeply unconsciously and bring it up to the conscious level so you can use it and you can start to trust it so that's a big part trusting it because i know mm -hmm. and i've even done that i feel it i get the little spidey senses but i don't always trust them but then i've heard people say your first reaction is probably the truthful reaction go with it do you mm -hmm. agree with that uh yeah mm -hmm, for sure because what happens is we rationalize it away and um that's that's the key to, because because there's a lot of reasons one of the foremost ones is bias we all have bias yep and we want to see what we want to see and to the extent that you are not clear right like like your glasses are foggy from from bias and there's there's a lot of different kinds of bias out there and, and um none of it makes you bad or wrong it's just like hey if you can recognize what is going on for you, then you can, um, you, you can, you can work around it to try to see the truth. So is part of the struggle here, like for many people, including myself, we want to believe the best in people. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. With, yeah. And, and we, one of the bias that we have is called a truth bias. Oh, and, and that, that makes life real easy because we want to believe that other people are telling us the truth. <laughs> Um, and guess what? That'll get you every time too. Right? <laughs> so, so we have a lot of bias um, in our system, in our just working for, for us or against us, as the case may be, uh, that it's important to understand what that bias is. Now, you, you make an interesting note about business growth and understanding lies and truth. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a correlation. Your, your business can grow or thrive, but you have to have the nose for it, learn some of these tricks, right? Yes, you, you need to know who's telling you the truth. Now, here's the thing. Not all lies are, are, are malicious, right? A lot of lies are very well-intentioned, uh, you know, to make you feel better, to, um, you know, give someone a compliment that maybe they <laughs> don't. Like, like, I love your hair today, Rich. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know, I worked all morning on it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but a lot of them, you know, they're, they're little white lies. Things like, oh, um, yeah, I love that proposal. Or we're going to make a decision in three, three weeks. Or, oh, yeah, we definitely have the budget for this. Um, no, I, I'm the final decision maker. Um, all, all of these things. All, you know, you're the last one we're talking to. We're not talking to anyone else. <laughs> like all, all these things, like it's, so it's not, it's not about creating gotcha moments. Yeah. Okay. That's it's, sometimes you're going to get into that. Cause sometimes there's out and out fraud. Right? Um, right. But more often than that, it's how are you going to understand what they're not saying? So you can answer their unspoken questions and make a different decision. Right. So, so you can pull out the information that maybe, you know, they're holding back so so that's that's really the bulk of the use of like, like when i'm when i'm working with with uh with groups because i work with a lot of sales teams i work with a lot of fraud investigators um uh all, all if, if workers comp yeah. <laughs> i mean in, anywhere there's an investigation that the stakes are high i've probably worked in that arena and I probably will continue to work in that arena because people need to know the truth because there's a lot of zeros behind the decimal point. Yes. Or sorry, in front of the decimal point. I said that wrong. There's a lot of zeros in front of the decimal point um, of of these investigations, right? Like the, like the outcomes. So, yeah. so you want to get it right. You really want to get it right. <clears throat> so I've worked in fraud prevention. I've done work, not like you, but I've done work. But I watched a TV show several years ago called Lie to Me. Oh, yeah. It's, okay, you are familiar with the show. Mm -hmm. It's by language. It's eye contact. It's mm -hmm. how you lean in, how you don't lean in. Is a lot of what they show on that show accurate to kind of how it develops? I'm sure they took liberties with it, but is that kind of accurate? Um, yeah, it is accurate. And actually, it's, um, it's based on the work of Paul Ekman, who uh, I believe he's at UCLA. He's somewhere in Southern California. 
And it's all about microfacial expressions that yes. take less than half a second to uh, materialize and then go away. And they'll, they'll tell you it, the seven um, uh, uh, built-in emotions that we all have. Yeah. And when you can get a handle on that, again, you can make a different decision. You can start to understand what people aren't saying to you. Now, uh, it was pretty interesting how Paul Ekman came onto this uh, body of knowledge because he went down, in, I believe, in the 1960s. And he, he, went, he goes down to Papua New Guinea, right? Yep. And he goes to find tribes that have never had contact, they say, never had contact with the outside world. He brings his camera with them, right? And then, you know, he gets friendly with them. And then what, because what he wants to do is he wants to see if this is, if this is built into us or if we're socialized into these emotions. Okay. Yeah. And, and he says stuff like, Hey, your kid just died. Click. And then he takes this picture of him. Right. So he gets the facial expression and he figures out that, yeah, we have this innate in, in, in us. And, um, and that's how this whole thing came to be. Wow. So I've seen some of your YouTube clips and things, and you, you review some of our politicians. You'll actually oh, yeah. take a clip and you'll mm -hmm. just say, watch it, watch it. And then you'll talk about, see this, see that. Mm -hmm. Is that something people can learn? We, we, we can learn this ourselves, right? We don't always need to call Tracy, but you would love them to have you call you, right? Uh, actually, no, I want people to learn it themselves. I'm busy. And so, <laughs> so, so don't call me. Uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm kidding about that. Like my, my goal is so that people, um, have their own, own tools because I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to be there in, in, in the moment. This stuff happens really fast. Yes. And, um, and you want to be able to see this. It's like, it's like, you know, for, for fraud detectors, I go, look, this is an invisible layer of of protection right for you it doesn't matter like maybe you're a fraud investigator okay that's great maybe you're not maybe you just want to pick out the right financial advisor yeah like that would be really handy information to know if this guy's right really running a ponzi scheme or not yes. and and so you want to be able to pick this stuff out so, and, so and you have to do it real time and you're not going to be able to call me. So uh, <laughs> when you do call me, you're going to have, again, a lot of zeros before the decimal point, And it's going to be very expensive. So I want I want people to learn on their own. So give us some tips. What are some things that we naturally I mean, I know couples are even doing this now. Couples hmm. are checking you out with are you lying, not lying before you tie the knot and get married. Oh, yeah. You know, where's some tips you can give us? Well, uh, you want to make sure that you're looking for mismatches between the body language and the words. So the quickest thing to, to look for when you ask a question, and this needs to be a direct yes or no question, right? So for American people, this means yes, I'm nodding my head yes, and this means no, okay? So if someone says, I would never do that, you see the mismatch? Yeah, oh, <laughs> right? yeah. Or, or you could ask me anything. <laughs> I had a client do that to me. Right? Now, uh, when when the questions get get longer, you want uh, more than just one sign, right? But uh, you know, a kind of an interesting one that we see because because it's, it's it's disbelief. Disbelief can be good, right? Um, so if someone says that is a beautiful baby. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It it may actually be like un an unbelievably great looking baby or it might actually not be. OK, so right. <laughs> so you want to um, you want to make sure that that you're trying to find the truth. Right. And really understanding what they're not telling you. Now, uh, we have a whopper of an election coming up this yes. year. Um, yep. And, uh, I, and I, I look forward to it, but I'm also kind of dreading it uh, fr from from my perspective, because what will happen is the news calls me and they'll say, OK, um, you uh, we're going to interview you uh, 15 minutes after the debate. It'll be yeah. camera ready and let's go. I'm like, great. And th which means I have to watch every second of every yeah. debate or town hall. And um, after some of them uh, last time, I had to take a mental health day. I mean, it was. I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive, which makes me good at this stuff, but it also yeah. makes it difficult. And, um, to, to come up with comments that quickly and focus that, that hard on stuff that I find yeah. uh, reprehensible most of the time, uh, it's, is difficult. So anyway, that, that is, that is coming up. I 
am on the side of uh I want to make sure that that people like that I'm dealing with, people that I'm, that I'm teaching, yep, make the best decision for them. I don't care what that decision is, right? But I care that that you know the truth so you can move forward appropriately for you. And uh cuz voting is is um super important. It, yes. it, it really is besides what you know popular belief may be on the validity of things get out there and vote because um it's the only thing we got well so, like, you know, um, during the last one i actually saw a clip where you were reviewing mm -hmm. trump and biden mm -hmm. and you got talking about trump's hands yeah and his dominant hand is not trying to hand some of the things so you're literally watching everything about these people mm -hmm. and you've watched their best their past traits their behaviors mm -hmm. And now you're looking at what they're saying now at this moment. And that's when you find out truth or lie, don't you? Uh, yes. So what you want to do is baseline people. And this, this doesn't just go for politics. It goes for anything. Like we all have a normal way we, we behave. And then when we get stressed and often for most people, uh, lie detection and stress do coincide. Some people... Uh, who are uh, like psychopaths, like like legitimate psychopaths, not just like yeah. oh you're a psychopath. No, like like legitimate psychopaths, yeah. like like empathy in their mind does not work, right? Yeah. Um, it, it, which means they'll do anything to anyone, and they do not they do not have the capacity to care. For most people, um, you're going to be able to to detect the that stress. Right. Mm -hmm. And and have, have a pretty good analysis of it's of, of if they're being deceptive or not. So there should be a reaction. So when they're flat and they don't react to anything, mm -hmm. the BS me is going off. Right. Uh, a lot of times. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's it's context dependent. Right. A psychopath, yeah. they'll stare at you. Right. They'll just. Yeah. The, and and uh, th there's some high functioning psychopaths. Don't get me wrong. People like um, Elizabeth Holmes, like super high functioning, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and then there's there's the ones that aren't aren't as high functioning, right? And again, a lot of them are incarcerated. So um, <sighs> so let me uh, let me jump in. Okay, let's just rip from the headlines. So we have Taylor Swift and Kelsey dating, Kelsey. dating, dating. Mm -hmm. Photos everywhere. Mm -hmm. I've heard comments. Sometimes they look like they're all cuddled up and nice and warm. And sometimes Taylor Swift seems like, yep, kind of sorted. Is Are their body cues coming through them even on how real this relationship is? Oh, yeah. I think the relationship is real. Okay. So here's the thing. Uh, I get contacted by the media just about every day. <laughs> and and Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey is right at the top of what they of what they want to talk about. So generally when they walk, they're walking in step, their hands are, uh, their, their fingers are intertwined. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's yep. not going to happen if it's not a fake relation or, or if it's, that's not going to happen if it is a fake relationship. What is, what more people are contacting me about these days is, uh, Brittany Mahomes versus Taylor Swift is Brittany trying to one up Taylor Swift. And these are the things I'm like, don't send me, this is garbage. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I do it because I get the link to my website. <laughs> <laughs> it's money on the backside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it has to benefit me a little bit. Right. So, yeah. um, it, and they just make up these ridiculous things about Taylor Swift and, Brittany Mahomes and who's trying to one up like what is Brittany doing and it's just like stop she's not if this is you send me a picture of one moment in time yes when clearly they're reacting to something outside of the of the um box because the, they're usually in a in the um in the box in the you know the uh season ticket holder box right yeah uh at the at the stadium and it's just like, come on, guys, this is this is ridiculous. Or they'll say, Brittany Mahomes is walking in front of Taylor Swift when they left the restaurant. I'm like, <laughs> someone had to go out the front door first. Someone has to go first. Right? <laughs> like, they don't both fit out the door at the same time, right? So anyway, the 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 and those are fun. The ones that um, are the most important are the are the things that I wish was never happening like um in, in pop culture so princess uh kate or she a yeah. duchess or princess like and that whole uh cancer situation mm -hmm. that she's uh 
been in, well, that one was really interesting. And I'll probably do my next newsletter on, on this is, um, she, she, uh, you know, did her, uh, professionally filmed, um, I don't know what you would call it, um, where you're, kind of admitting what's going on i mean yeah. she hasn't done anything wrong yeah, right it's, your apology. yeah it's a it's a reveal okay yeah. and one side of her face was stuck in in a almost like in a smile like yeah. the whole side of her face like her eyebrow was up the uh, her lip was up and it was i've never seen anyone get I, i've seen flashes of that mm -hmm. but i've never seen anyone get stuck there so that was that was pretty interesting um and so you know the thing about the royals because i've done a lot of analysis on the royals you know you you they're they're famous but you don't know what they think about anything N nothing right so um ex except for harry prince harry who you do know what he thinks about a lot of stuff and i did some analysis on that and that got me kicked off. I went viral on TikTok. I mean, viral. Like, with so capital, I was going to bring that up. What exactly C. happened? What What did you do? The light that fuse. Oh, I just pointed out where they were not, where they were being deceptive. Okay, now, um, in in people people. Okay, so a lot of things happened. For one, so my friends were after me. You got to do TikTok videos. I'm like, I don't want to. I don't have time. Okay, so I found some Prince Harry footage. I just did one. And I went out that night. I went out to dinner and some stuff. <laughs> I, and midway through dinner, I looked and it was at 22,000 views. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And and then, you know, the next morning I looked and it was at 100,000 views. I was like, oh my, I better do more of these. <laughs> I'm a follower now. I'm a true Tracy follower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I didn't really say a whole lot. I just had a little clip and I'm like, hey, this is an example of deception. I didn't say hey, they're lying, so you should hate them. I didn't say, I hate them because they're lying. I said, here's an example of deception. And, and this is what happens is because when you do that, you bump up against people's belief systems. Mm. And all of a sudden, I'm a hater. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm a teacher. I'm like, hey, just take a look, right? Um, and I had uh, a million and a half views on not very many videos. And I did some other ones on other people. And, uh, in two weeks. And then I woke up one morning and it was all gone. It was all gone. And, uh, cause apparently I had, uh, the, the, what they told me was I had violated the standards of TikTok. And I was like, wow, you put truth on TikTok. No one likes it. You put lies and that's fine. Uh, or, or you, or you put, uh, recipes on there that, uh, you know, you see people cook. It's like, there's no way that's, that's going to even bake, you know, <laughs> like, it's just not going to work at all. And, and so, but when you put truth on there, people don't like it. And I'll tell you what happened is because I, uh, over, you know, a little bit of time, cause I, um, at that point, on that very day when my yeah. account got removed because they didn't just take a video or two they took the whole account oh, my whole account um i believe i believe prince harry has someone on the inside at TikTok who did that because you could not find anything on that day remotely objectionable about harry or megan on TikTok. it was wiped clean and that my friends is called controlling the narrative so oh, yeah good for, good for him good for him for being able to do it um, and you know, TikTok, they're their own company. They're, they're allowed to do whatever they want to do with, with their, um, you know, with the content that, that they want. It just didn't happen to be that truth was part of what they wanted. So, um, anyway, I'm back on TikTok with much less, uh, scandalous <laughs> <laughs> information. I like the early stuff. Come on, Tracy. But you know, when you talk about business, you know, can we help people with businesses? Like the guy who keeps scratching his ear all the time, is that a nervous tick or is he lying through his teeth? If he's rubbing his palms all the time, mm -hmm. you know, what What sort of business tips can we give? Because everyone's trying to figure it out. Right. Well, okay. So the thing, the thing that's interesting is that in negotiations, um, it is socially acceptable to not be forthcoming. Mm -hmm. That's not what you're supposed to do. 
right? Yeah. And so it's all context driven. Now, it's not just body language. You have to time the body language with the words precisely. <laughs> and and there's um, there's a little art and a little science to it, right? So you really got to sharpen sharpen your, your skills. Now, here's the thing. You can't just say, all right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to read body language. I'm going to start at 8.07. I'm going to read that body language. And I'm going to get the information I need. Now, here's the deal, team. This is a lifestyle that you need to live. And um, if you if you just decide to use it at certain points in your life, you're not going to be very good at it. Okay. Uh, and so I would suggest raising your sensory acuity. That's what I help people do is pay attention to things that maybe you haven't been paying attention to all the time. Right. And then when it gets important, you're going to be able to do it. You're going to be able to pull it off. Right. If you just believe what people say, you're going to set yourself up for trouble every time. So how, how much of this is intuition? Like we talked about earlier and how much of this is learning, studying, understanding? Well, we all have that intuition in us. The question is, are you interested in that? Right. And the other question is, how bad do you want what you want? If you don't want it, th just be honest with yourself. Well, and you say that lies are hidden in plain sight, mm -hmm. especially with clients, customers, employees, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's always happening at some level, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. The signs are, are always all there. And people are like, oh, Tracy, I'm not with people in person anymore. And I say, great. You, you, you got to talk to them somehow. Uh, are you on the phone? Are you on Zoom? Right. And they go, well, what about emails? I'm like, great. How about some forensic linguistics for that? That's what I was going to ask you. How much does the voice play into reading this as well? Oh, yeah. So so the voice is it, it can be, de again, depending on what study you like and, and how you like to do things, it can be in the words can be more of an indicator of deception than the body language. Right. The thing is, body language is sexy. That gets me in the door for a lot. of you know. <laughs> And so uh, the uh, the the voice, you got six organs that it takes to make a sound. And if if you listen to how those sounds come out. <laughs> <laughs> right? and the tone, the tempo, the pitch, the timber. And uh, one of, one of my, one of my, like, like they will shift. And that's part of your communication baseline, right? Same way body language. Well, one of my favorites is when people choke halfway through a word and that is, is I, I have, again, in my own productions, I have tried to train actors to do this and it is nearly impossible really? to do but when you lie, what happens is the brain knows it, you're not legit and right. it'll shut everything down momentarily halfway through the pinulative word. <laughs> okay. So, it, or maybe they'll cough or something along those lines. And so you got to pay attention to that. There's no accidents. There's so, no accidents. So, so like the body's trying to slam on the brakes, your brain, mm -hmm. your brain knows it. And it's trying to tell the body to stop and slam yeah. on the brakes. Mm-hmm. That's when we get those funny faces, the, the, the stuck words and stuff. Yep, That's stuck exactly words. when that happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I wonder how many train wrecks there are every day that we don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking about, <laughs> speaking about sexy, you have a, a upcoming TV show. You're going to have Hopefully. a film and mm -hmm. a TV show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So during COVID, um, I was, you know, we're grounded. Everyone's gr grounded. And, um, I, I was bouncing off the walls. Like I thought my husband was going to put me in a rubber room. Like I really did. <laughs> and our padded room, whatever you call it. And, uh, I was like, man, this is the time I could, that, that TV show I've been wanting to do it's yeah. time to do it. And so I took all that government money and that's what I did with it. And, um, we, uh, so I have a pilot, a, a TV show pilot. And um, it's called Truth, Lies, and Cover-Ups. Yep. One of the most delicious things about love, it takes you by surprise every time. I'm Tracy Brown, the fraud-busting body language expert. It is uh, based on a true story and the deception in it. I have coached the actors. It is 
very, very good. Now, you can't see it anywhere online because it's a pilot because I don't need a whole bunch of people ripping me off in Hollywood. <laughs> and um, you can see it, though, if you hire me for three hours or more in in my uh for for keynote for for your business because i i made it for like we'll have to redo it if when hollywood comes around to it um to make it a little more twisty a little more turny things like that right now it is for corporate use and uh because what happens is i can tell people and tell people uh, hey look here's a lie here's a lie look at this little clip that kind of thing and what happens is when you get into a story and you get sucked into the story, you become uh, less apt to see lies. And so uh, what I'll do is I'll show half of it. I'll have everyone pick a scene in, in a group, you know, so you can discuss it and pick out the lies like that you see, pick out the lies that you heard. And, um, and we'll, you know, everyone will debrief on that and then we'll do a, uh, reveal and they'll figure out what they missed and they're shocked at how much they missed because you got sucked into the story. So it takes a little bit for me to get people up to speed to be able to do that. But um, I guess it's, it's super fun. And oh, that sounds um, like a blast. I'd come to a party like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, I know I was in DC last week. I didn't get to show it because uh, my, my, I know you're out there. My, my talk was too short uh, to, to do it. Cause I do need, you know, a good period of time, but um Beyond that, uh, I I made some a couple spinoff videos mm-hmm. that are they're short and they're they're just a direct promo for my my talk uh, or my my keynotes, but uh, they have a plot and uh, I have I have one I think you saw it it's it's a, and it's on my web page you can see it there and um, I got part two coming out uh, here hopefully within a month. Um, there there. There was one with you waking up out of a dream. Yeah. Which I thought was fabulous. I was uh, I was all in at the beginning going, oh, this is so James Bond. This is so cool. And then there you are waking up with the alarm. <laughs> that was great. But then, but then you don't know if it was a dream or not. You don't know if it was a dream or not. You're right, which is a great reveal later on, which we won't spoil here. Yeah. Um, you also have one with a poker game, which again, that poker game scene yep. is fabulous yeah so, yeah that's the same video that's the yeah. same video so uh but i have another i have part two coming out and you're gonna find out what happens next <laughs> now you also have a book coming out how to detect lies fraud and identity theft and as i mentioned way back at the beginning this identity theft thing is going viral right now people mm-hmm. are scamming left and right mm-hmm. how can you help people with this because sometimes it is email sometimes it is through a phone call it's mm-hmm. not just face to face and it's going everywhere. Right. Okay. So the best thing you can do to prevent identity theft, it is, uh, it's a pain in the butt. I'm just going to let you know right now. However, it is necessary. These, you will stop 90% of the fraud fraudsters coming after you. And that is uh, lock your credit, lock your credit, which means if you go to apply for a car loan or a credit card or whatever, they're going to come back and say, Hey, you need to unlock your credit. Um, because that's what the fraudsters want to do is get into mm-hmm. your, like with someone that has good credit and, and apply for all kinds of stuff. So lock your credit and that will solve a lot of it. Now, uh, the rest of it is um, there's going to be some kind of interaction somehow with somebody, right? So, and, and I got to tell you, it's getting better and better because of AI and fakes and all of, all of this stuff. So if anyone yeah. calls you for any reason, want money for anything, hang up. And then do some check-in and then figure it out later because probably it's fake. Well, I had a family member that's been doing some job hunting and he had happened three times to him, three times mm-hmm. scams on hiring. He's gone through the questionnaires and everything he's supposed to do. He's on a phone interview. Then they get into, well, we're going to ship you equipment. We're going to do that, going to do this. He gets all the way down that. It sounds really legit. And then they go, by the way, we need X amount of money to send you some of the equipment. That's kind of a down payment on your rental of the equipment. Oh, and, and he's like, nope, nope, nope. He calls me in you know, a frantic, like, what do you think I should do? Hang up, delete. Yeah. And they're, 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 it, he was like the third step in the door before actually thinking he had the job. They're yeah. really good at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Lock your credit, lock your credit. And you know, cause you've just given them a ton of information, yeah. uh, enough for them to, 
fake uh, identities on all sorts of different sites and things like that. And so um, that's that's the key right there. Just lock it. So like for some people, like when I go to a movie, because I've been around this so much, mm -hmm. I, I look behind the curtain. Even though I want to go enjoy the movie, I can't help but think about the set, the prop, the stunt. Yeah. I can't help by going behind. Mm -hmm. Do you have that trouble yourself that sometimes you're just enjoying life and you find yourself, dang, I'm reading them now. <laughs> well, a little bit. And, and the question is, um, I have three questions. Am I getting paid? Um, like, what does it matter? And do I care? Okay, so let's talk about that. Uh, am I getting paid? That's an easy one. Yeah, uh, great. I'm in uh, for for some stuff. And some people have tried to pay me to do stuff. I'm like, no, I'm just not going to do that. Um, and and does it matter? Like like if someone if someone asks, you know, hey, how how you doing today? You know, and it's like fine. I'm like, well, uh, okay, I get what's going on, but does it matter? And yeah. does it is it material in in my life or whoever is asking me? Right that. Yeah. Uh, but then other stuff, you know, most time I just try to have fun with it. And I'm like, all right, like, that's pretty interesting. So for instance, a friend of mine, I was out in North Carolina and uh, she lives in this really ritzy neighborhood. And there was this developer and he's building this like 20,000 square foot house, like really big. And there was this bet around the neighborhood of when is this house going to be done? So, uh, and it wasn't a big bet. It was like 20 or $40 or some such thing. And the, um, the uh we're at this concert here's a developer i take it was my friend's friend i'm like let's go talk to the developer i'm gonna figure this out for you and and he says and he says oh or no she asks, oh when's it gonna be done and he's like uh <laughs> december <laughs> right and he rolled his rolled his list, list back it means they're holding back information and i looked at, at um my friend and i was like look here's the deal um that's a lie and you need to double down on your bet. And sure enough, it wasn't done until March, right? And so like little things like that, like it's it's more about having fun because, you know, if I was running around with a bunch of drug dealers or someone, you know, yeah. just people prone to trouble, like that would be a whole other thing, right? And yeah. and I, I do that when I'm uh, asked to do that. Uh, but most time in life, it's just a, you know, it's like, does my husband want chicken for dinner or not? Like, <laughs> you know? Did you buy me an anniversary gift? <laughs> <laughs> I know he's a brave man. Uh, so Tracy also has a uh, Fantech web website. We mentioned it earlier. What you want to do is grab your phone, hit the QR code, scan that, and you get to learn more about her, what she does. What else are they going to find there on your website, Tracy? On my website, you're going to find my videos, the little videos that we've been talking about. Um, you're going to find uh, how to hire me. You can get my, uh, my uh, like the free stuff that I have is on there too, like my podcast. And uh, and that, like I said, that's called Truth, Lies, and Cover-Ups. Um, and like, like my blog is pretty cool. And um, if you want to just, uh, like like the number one thing that I do that's that's really working is my newsletter. And because, you know, because of the TikTok thing, I have learned not to build uh, a house on uh, rented land. Yep. And uh, anyway, so if you want, just email me. I'll sign you up for my newsletter. And um, it's once a month and you'll get um, you'll get the latest on who's who's doing what. But yeah, it's who's body. Doing what? Yeah, that'd be a great line for a podcast. Who's doing what? Who's doing what? Yeah, <laughs> it, but it's it's body language trainer. Mm -hmm. dot com and you can go there and and see all the um, fabulous goodies mm, love it love it love it be sure to get more of that information again grab that qr code and follow along so what's next for tracy what is the next big thing? I mean, TV show, movie, mm -hmm. do, we, do we have any release dates on, on any of those things? I don't, I don't yet. We're still in editing on that TV. I got to talk to, I have some producers in Hollywood and like I said, the strike really threw everything off. So I need to talk to them here. Um, the, the coolest thing coming out is that I, in um, December, I flew down to South, South Africa to Cape Town and uh, I filmed an ad campaign for Nivea Lotion where I am, I am their body language expert. And we talk about body confidence and, and self-image and, and how to create confidence. And that will be coming out soon. I don't have a release date on that either, but uh, you, you may see me um, pretty soon. <laughs> Very interesting that you're touching on that. Very interesting because 
Rock the Stage, Rock the Stage Media, we are dedicated this year to the act of confidence because 2023, most people lost confidence in business, on camera, on stage. A lot of people have just, they got shattered through 2023. Yeah. So confidence is a huge area. It's huge. It's huge. So the fact that you're diving in now, that's that's very cool. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's not something I think about. I have, I'm, I'm typically someone who's um, uh, characteristically overconfident <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to the point that it could be at my detriment, but I guess, I guess people have, have problems with confidence. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. uh, so I'm going to help people in, um, Niv Nivea, they are fantastic. And, and so make sure you look for that ad campaign and, um, and you'll, you'll know how to, how to find some confidence. Last question. And then we're going to wind on down here with you, Trace. What's the best advice you can give people to just have better understanding of body language and fraud, whatever it is, what's the best tip you can give our viewers today? Uh, two things, pay attention and trust your gut. Wow. If you do, if you do those two things, you'll be good. Uh, pay attention and trust your, trust your gut. Tracy Brown, again, body language expert. She's number three in the world. Everyone knows about her. She's out there. Follow her, go to her website, learn more. Tracy, thanks for being with us here today on Rock the Stage. Oh, it's been fun. Thank you so much. Again, you want to get a hold of that book. You want to check out more about Tracy. And just as a reminder here, uh, she does have that copy of her latest book, How to Check Lies, Fraud, and Identity Theft. You can get it on Amazon by going through the website and track it right there. Very easy to find it. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Rack the State Show. We're back every Sunday night with amazing guests, celebrity experts, actors, directors, lie detectors. Hey, we're going to have a brain profiler coming up on Rack the State. We have very unique... Cool guests coming up on our show. You don't want to miss it. Sunday night, 7 p.m. We always have the premiere streaming on PPN, the Public Place Network, and of course on YouTube. Until next week, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Thanks for being with us and playing along. We look forward to seeing you next week at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs>